Welcome back to more Humankind, our now Spanish adventure through the early modern era, although we are getting close uh, to going up to the next era. We just need one more era star. We left things trying to decide what we we're going to do about an expedition for the state, and you guys on YouTube and watching this live on Twitch have all said go for fund. It costs us 500 gold, but we get a chance of good consequences. So that is what we shall do. Let us fund the expedition. Confirm. And let's see... Um, what happens, basically? Right, uh, end the turn. Incredible. Ten territories pulled together into a single megalopolis. The next challenge is to come up with a suitably epic name. What? Is that because of the, the Mongols have reached the medieval and kept their traditions? Oh, interesting. Interesting. High jump, what about a high jump? But suddenly, as long as I'm not, as long as you guys can hear me, as long as I'm not like clipping out and losing, is that all good? That all fine? <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um. Yeah. What was the mecha? Is that that's not me? I don't have like ten territories all combined into one city. I know you can. There's an AI that likes to play like that though. I don't know which one it is, but it sounded pretty cool. How is our research going? I've probably just gotten ten territories. Uh possibly. Yeah, I've not connected them all together. Oh, I definitely have. I've got the 10. Yeah, I've got expansion is there. We've got 10 out of 12. It's absolutely fine. No, she's okay, cool. Uh, so it's currently going for furnace steel. And then on to gunpowder. So then we'll finally be able to get the Akabusiers probably as we get out of this tech and this era. I do have quite a lot of gold. What, what should we do with some gold? Can I? I can't use that to finish off this, can I? No, we can only sacrifice some peasants. Oh, no. Probably use it to, I can buy production, can't I? But at the moment, we've got everyone focusing on that, haven't we? Supporting that one. Well, Pride Rock Week. Oh, no, it's not worth It's not worth that, surely. Got a lot stored up in the back. I've got a lot of influence as well. I can probably choose another. Oh, nearly. Nearly we can enact another one. We'll need to decide which one of those we're going to go for, finally. See how the pe if the piece lasts. We're trying to get that to stabilize things. These guys over here, look at all that veterancy. It's glorious, eh? So yeah, we're holding off here because I'm going to go grab that when I can do expansionist again. Can't be done. It's not ready yet. One more turn. But to attach it to here, uh, it'll hit my stability as well, won't it? Um, number of attached territories minus 40. But we are we are looking to improve things and we're going to get that obelisk of the gods in here. So I reckon I can still go ahead and do it. Let's move both my forces up here. Oh, we trespassed. War declared by the Zulu. You ignore yeah. Me. You insult me. Here it comes. I, I, we're not ignoring you, actually. I'm, I'm trespassing Boy, against your vassal. So gauche, yet not Pose a white piece. We must rise above our petty differences. I didn't actually mean to do that. Good. But okay. I thought it might come up with a screen where I get to propose no, what happens. Not acceptable. My war score is 176. I There's 190. Right, so that's the maximum now I can I'm get angry. out of it. Suppose both sides abandon their demands to put an end to the conflict without either being declared the victor. Refu it was uh, refused by the Zulu and it cost me 800 influence. Yeah, son of a gun. Buenos dias, Cyril Anonymous Anonymous. How you doing? Right, okay, we're back at war with the Zulus. That all lasted, you know, all of five minutes. Um, that's them over there. Ooh, they've got more than I do. Um, okay. Oh. Uh, did I get rid of my other armies? Oh no, my other army's down here. Okay. Let's go attack them, and then we can bring these guys in as reinforcements. They've got the Impi. So they're the Zulu's unique ones, but they've also got the winged, they've got a load of winged hussars. Oh, and they've started getting Aquabusiers. Okay, they're strong. That's just... Okay, so it's just the one army, but it's real strong. Um, we're going to leave that because I'm going to pull these guys in as reinforcements. So that I can overpower them. Oh, we can come in from here. Nice. I'm stronger overall. Manual. Manual battle. 
We're waiting for deployment. Uh, right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, they're on the high ground. I'm going to... Oh, I can't pop those archers back a bit. I'm going to pop them up on the high ground just because out of the low ground. I know they're on the front line then. I am attacking though, so I, I'll get the attack first. Bring these guys in over here. And we're going to go for the winged... Oh, my my pikemen... Why do they get shredded? What? Are they are winged hussars, like, actually capable anti... Anti-pike. Your current works will lurk and listen from the shadows. Enjoy lurking from the shadows. Oh, it's a, it's a poor man's sports car. It's fading a little when you're speaking. But it seems to sort itself out now. Okay. As long as the mic's, yeah. Bought it. That's all good. My units are an era behind. Pretty, yeah. Pretty much. Oof. My poor pikes. Um, Keep together. Okay. Send them there because then we can always give them an attack order. What I want to do is get my longbowmen okay. up onto the high ground and then fire at them. Oh, we are really going to struggle. Bloody heck. Really going to struggle here. Yeah, drum I'm going to try and take out those Akabusiers because they're going to be dangerous. Yeah, I can go up onto the high ground here and fire on down on them. All the way up here and fire on down. That's nice. He's got my longbows up on the high, on the high ground. We've done barely any damage to them, though. I've just realized how little we've done. Oh, my days. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. I'm going to be in trouble then. I'm a lot in trouble. Rut row. I think I'm probably going to try and take out some of those winged tassars, haven't I, as well? Oof. I'm just going to take so much damage there. Anti cavalry, but their combat strength is 50. To my base 34. Oh, bloody heck. <sighs> Just got to focus on one, though. I'm going to take out, try and take out their special unit here, the MP. And I'm just going to defend with my spears for now. hope that the winged hussars don't absolutely annihilate all my other units. But they're going to go over towards my longbows yet. Yeah, oh, they just wiped out a whole unit in one hit. Bloody hell. Oh, and that one. I'm losing my longbows now. This is not good. Cavalry getting the best of me again. Yeah, whether I'm controlling them or whether they're being used against me, I always struggle. Ay, ay, ay. Days. This is pretty mental. We need to get maximum damage hits on these guys, otherwise we don't do much at all. Let's at least finish off the MP. Problem is those guitars are just going to carve up through each of my longbows every single turn. I'm not sure I can win this one. My side's weaker. I'm in proper trouble here. Can I... I offer surrender. Uh, I, have to I have to give them all of these, though, do I? Oh, uh, God. And I have to pay him that much. Oh, good God. Yeah, I'm in... I'm in a... Proper bit of trouble. 
Can I get any more troops over there to help out? No, because I just sent these up there trespassing, which caused the whole thing. That's really not good. The only... Th uh, I can't even get knights because I don't have the... I need two lots of iron. But even they're not strong enough to match on up. It's so far behind. But they might, they might be able to help. Do I have any of that available? I've got one bit of iron there. No. If I take that, will that include a bit of iron? No, it's up in the other bit of territory. Ah, rat snacks. Yeah, I did not think this one through. Calamity. Which means I'd lose, like, the bits I've grabbed over there. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much damage. I'm gonna get white here, I think. Wing to SARS. Crazy strong. Oh, 46 damage to their 9. Yeah, wing to SAR unit. I mean, my longbows are definitely dead. I think my whole arm. My, that's two armies they just wiped out. Do the expansionist on that one. That one I won't actually hold it properly, though, will I? I don't. I can't do it yet, can I? If I'm at war, either. So I need to bring. I need to bring these guys ba both back anyway. Oh, that was the worst possible... Yeah, trespass I could have done that. They wiped out both of my longbows then. The only thing I'm trying to do maybe is see if I can just take out one of the Aquabusiers. I've lost every other unit. Together. Now. He's going to kill that last unit. Can you get artillery that helps you in combat? Um, I assume they'll appear as a unit that you would bombard with. Pretty sure there's definitely artillery units. I've been well and truly spanked here. I'm in trouble though, so I want nothing that can push those guys back. Yeah, I just got absolutely ruined. I don't think any of my units survived, did they? No, we lost everything. Grab that and then give that back. The thing is, giving that back, um, they want both. Of, they want that one and that one. If I offer surrender on those terms, I have to pay four thousand two hundred fifty in reparations to make up for the the war um, support. They were all veterans as well, yeah. Nothing against the Wing Tassar. Am I unlocking anything soon? That will... Oh crap, I didn't mean to cancel that. Man of Steel. And then onto Gunpowder is what I want to get. What's that? Halberdiers, they would probably help, wouldn't they? Anti-cavalry. they will be upgrades from my pikes, I'd have thought. I wonder if it might be worth, because I don't have any... Because I don't currently have any... Saltpeter, because I don't have the gunpowder tech yet. I wonder if it might be worth going for that halberdiers first. Give me a chance. But I'm going to have to put everything I've got into research to get that done quickly. Oh my days, I'm in proper trouble. Expedition for the state. Many months later, the bold sailor returns to your court. His beard is thick and gnarled, his skin weather-beaten, his eyes sunken. He recounts a tale of wild seas, an ocean of bewildering emptiness, and near starvation and mutiny on his fleet. But at the end, he gives a wry smile, and then our eyes fell upon the sweetest sight... Dry land. 
Land Ahoy! Knowledge of this great new continent could be crucial in the Empire's journey. Reveals the location of the new world. Over here! Okay, so how can we say... Oh, we don't think we don't have any more cities we can create. Hey, blue lad. Uh, I'm currently getting wrecked, yeah, by winged hussars. Um, and I have nothing to counter them with. So I'm having to pull my armies back. I hope I can hold out with these. I mean, the Akabusias there might just help me thin the tide. I'm in a, in a big spot of trouble. I mean, I could I can establish an outpost, couldn't I? Wait, I've got the thing that lets me do like a colony thingy. A colony thingy. Um, we can send any unit off to go do that, can't we? Any unit can go do that. Uh, have we got the tech that actually allows me to sail, or do I need to get this? I need to map. Do I need to board it? Target unit can take. Can also take damage when they move now. When they next move. That's a transport one, though, right? Both sea trade and I don't quite know how embarking and disembarking units works in this one. I'm enjoying humankind. I'm still learning it, um, and definitely would like to do another playthrough after this. I think I'm going to do it on the real, real Earth map. Oh yeah, I should get inside a city. That's true. Just defend the cities. Furnace still researched. Has so we get high furnace. Nice. And we also then got armory. Oh, we've got a battle here. Peasants. Oh, but they're are they attacking the walls? No. I hmm. Like this one. Are they planning on bringing these guys in as reinforcements? Or they've they do they've got they split them up. Interesting. Are they, gonna, are they gonna occupy the zone so I can't get through? It's waiting for order so I can bring in extra ones from here. I might as well charge out with the peasants to try and take out the Akabus here. Is that where their reinforcements are coming in from as well? That'll stop them coming in. So they've only got two units active at the moment. They're waiting to bring their reinforcements in from here. Uh, likewise, I can't bring any more in. But if I pop in the Aquabusiers there, I'm going to pull them into the city. Get some pikes. Yeah, I'm going to try and take these guys out. I'm going to have to take another turn. I can't get more in from there, but that's fine. Come on. Attack. Keep attacking that one. That's all I can bring in, so end the turn there. Then they've only got the two units remaining. Oh, no, they brought these guys in as reinforcements now. Crap. Ah, now I'm in trouble. Yeah, they have the... Oh, these, oh, wait, these ones are fine. This is the Hunnic Horde. I can deal with that. But this must be their only army that they fully upgraded. Oh, they've cleared that spot, though. Okay, so I need to take those guys out. Ah, uh, they're winged hussars. If they stay where they are, they can't bring any more in. Oh, it's going to be tough. Ah, uh, set up again. At least my pikes can deal with the Hunnic Horde, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. We might just lose all my armies now. That was the worst possible thing I could have done then, trespassing through there, having the Zulus declare war. I mean, it, it was building up for a while, I guess. They just used that as an excuse to press the attack. It was going to happen, but I should have waited to tech up a bit more. Rup row. Rot Rose Goob. 
Not good, not good, not good. God, even my Akabusias don't do that much damage. Peasants get completely wiped out. Boosiers. My pipes can take out the Hunnic Horde, though. But unfortunately, now I can't bring any more of my units in. I need to bring all these guys back away from the walls. So they don't get shot at. I've got to outlast them now. Yeah, I need to try and get my longboats inside the walls. Then we'll be able to outlast it. As long as that Akrabusier goes, we can just pull back far enough my longbows can take down the Honic Horde. They've moved. Oh no. They've stayed on that bit. They're blocking their reinforcements, which is good. As long as I don't move on those spots to block my reinforcements coming in, I'm fine. Lots of longbows now. One of these longbows are going to die though, because I can't get them in the city. I'm going to take out those Tatars. It's down. Actually, I have one of them there ready to go on in. That will continue next turn. That has not gone well. Yeah, do they want to how the... Do I need to have a transport ship as such to take my units over to the new world and settle over there? We'll only be able to create an outpost. We won't be able to create any more um, cities just yet. But as a backup, in case we get royally ruined over here, we can always fall back. Or if we lose my Kini, then that'll free up a city. Do I need to go for one of these first and then I can put a unit on it and then sail it over to then create the outpost? Or can I just send a... I don't think I can send a unit over there on its own, like a land unit. I think I have to get naval units, right? It's not quite like a uh, sieve where you can embark, disembark, right? Hey, Samurai Spartan, how you doing? Um, we've got a battle to fight, yeah. Waiting for my orders. They've moved off their zone, so I think, have they brought in their other troops? Don't think they have. But I think they've got everyone in play now. Oh, they're block. Yeah, they have. They brought that one in there, and they're blocking that one. Have at them. Load and shoot. In the round. Put that one down. Not sure. Do I have the tech for settlers. Um, I don't know. Naval transport. Places land units which embark. Naval transport. So it replaces land units which embark. Travel high seas ocean tiles. Is that the one, or is it something else? Seafaring mastery. Cog. 
or an outpost. Don't know. Which one is it I need? Having one city above the limit is minuscule. Ten loss on prestige. Do you mean fame? My longbow's got shredded by all of those guys coming to attack. That's the only problem. I need more of my longbows coming in from here that are trapped. If I stay here with my longbows, I'm going to get shredded. Fire away for them to come a bit closer. Forward. Give us strength. Oh, do they take they take damage from my reinforcements that are like knocking, trying to knock them off it, don't they? That's what they do. You think it's foreign outpost that does it? I think it's that one that allows me to travel across the sea with units. There's, tra no, there's transport galley here. Places land units which embark. Places land units which embark. So I don't know, they do turn into that then. Sailing, is that it? Because the transport one's just replacing whatever it turns into. In order to settle an area, I think you need foreign outposts. So, it's weird that it doesn't kind of really say on it, though, does it? Fair enough. Let's find out. Check range. Fire. Move there anyway. Onward to victory. New next turn. Tech tool tips need to be, but yeah, they do. It's like not always clear what you need to do in order to get what. They're coming in. They're going to harass those longbows. I think we'll just outlast them. As long as they don't completely wipe out my longbows. That's the hope, anyway. Now like the Hunnic Horde. And we can just pick off the wings of Sars. Just managed to do it by pulling back behind our walls. That's what we're going to have to do then with these guys. But we've lost a lot of troops. And we need to start producing a loadout to replace getting ready for the next tech. Centralized power. We need to throw everything we possibly can into re in getting that research done fast so we've got anti-cav capabilities. Because if they keep throwing if they keep throwing more um, wing to SARS at us, then we're going to be in proper trouble. Get ready, attack! Go! <laughs> Onward to victory! Stay together. Stay 
I'm gonna move that out there because then I think they might be able to hit. Turn. Plus this mount due to growth. They're all helping out with that at the moment. No, oh, but they're fine. Oh, this literally they keep going back and forth between Why one and the other. Here? Because um Yeah, they they produce an extra pop, then it's too much food, so they lose a pop, and they're like, oh we don't have we don't have too much food now, we're all good. I become I come bearing steam, an inventor uh, an inventor engineer ostracized from her own country on account of her religion has come to you offering her scientific expertise she wishes to settle in the city of Mufasa's Mount where she believes she could work productively her pioneering work on the fundamentals of engines could be vital but the fact that she is not a follower of the lion gods could make things difficult what do you say to her naturalize learning on th on three cities for ten turns plus 20 science or jail Celebrate stability. As stability is great, but no, we we don't want to go for naturalize. Inventors of any creed are welcome with Foster's Mount. You have want reached the end of an ideology. Research. So we've gone as reduced. Of all the epithets other empires oh. may use for you, wishy washy won't be one of them. That's lovely. Um, yeah, we've just reduced that by like nine turns, so that's grand. We do right back here. I can't shoot any of them, can I? No, can't move. That's fine. I'll keep taking these guys out. Longbows to the win. Can't come out of fire, so I'll just stay there. Because if I put them out, they get absolutely swamped and annihilated. Let's just focus fire on this one. Pull my longbows. Gone. Attack! Let's go! Are on that one now. Next turn. Right, probably right. You just finished some science. Um, we've got loads of gold, so let's get some money changed over into more science. Let's drop that by a turn. Um, we are recruiting these guys from. I had it up here, but then I swapped it over, didn't I? Oh no, I had it up here, didn't I? Oh, uh, but I can't recruit into there because it's part of the battle, I assume. How is your stability? It's okay at the moment. I can't recruit anymore because we're in the perimeter of a battlefield. Uh, I'm going to go for this, though. To then sail on over that way. Um, yeah, if that's what I need. Boarding vessel, coastal ship. Oh, wait, no, we don't, we don't want one of those, do we? We should just want a regular unit, which should be able to go on over. We'll find out. Um, okay, so we need something for a turn. Oh, I, I mean, we could follow up with the next research one, which is going to get some really wicked bonuses from being around it, but it will hit our stability. Let's whack that in there. Well, okay. You've got one more turn to get that. Should be another science boost to us. Let's see what happens. 17 turns. What's that? One is complete down to An 13. Beautiful. The mausoleum. But I can't help wonder what sort of a sign it is when an empire spends more on the dead than the living. Dun -dun. How far we push hum uh, humankind? The unknown faction has entered the final era. Once any of the following has occurred, the Empire with the most fame will be declared the victor. It will end when one of the following conditions is reached. Reaching the last turn, 300. Oh, yeah, we're going to get close to that on normal game speed. I definitely want to put it to 600 next time. Earning every contemporary star era star. Unlocking all of the endgame technologies. Eliminating all the other empires. Vassalizing all the other surviving empires. Sending a mission to Mars or rendering the world unfit for human life. Is there a way in your in the victory decks that you can set it so that you're only playing for one specific victory, like domination victory in Civ? So they're in the final one. Not even encountered them. They've just run ahead of us. 
Mexicans have reached the contemporary era with the Brazilians. Okay, so that's who they are. Once you reach max turns, you can still keep going. Okay. They, I, th I don't think we'll win this one. <laughs> I get that feeling. Uh, seven turns left on that. Uh, let's finish that battle, then I can free. Then I can recruit units again. finish them or not. Somewhere each Terrier. Okay, you're screwed, yeah. They're not on our continent, though. They're probably on the new world. Give us strength. Finally, we've won the battle. That was incredibly Talk, brutal. Though I'd as soon see you bleed as speak. It was but a trifle. Please carry on with your day. The trump a white rival. piece. That's fine. We no, must refused. rise above our petty differences. I tried. Right, yeah, get inside the walls, guys. You've only got two and three. We're going to have to combine them then, what's left of it. That's the only army I've got remaining. Yuck. Right. Um, your stability is actually okay. You were. Obelisk of the Gods, we were going to finish up here, weren't we? Get that done in there. That's because that's 20 more stability. Then we can worry about getting some more units out, I think. Um, although at the moment, more units might not be... I can't see... We'll switch on over if we start seeing enemies come, I think. Always amusing to see a loss once in a while. Is, well, I mean, like... This is the, my first ever campaign in the game, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised I've, I've survived this long, to be honest. Not really knowing what I was doing the whole time. Uh, money, let's shove more of them over into science to finish that as quickly as we can. We've now got that there. Does that provide any different adjacency bonuses? We'll get, oh my days, plus 16 science there. How is our stability? Amazing. Uh, yes. Plus 16 science, please. This is science land, to be fair. I don't know why I'm so crazily like, oh my god, I can't believe that's happening. We are losing a pop, though. Uh, we probably need some more farming districts, actually. It should actually balance itself out. Every time we lose one, we we think, yeah, we're fine. It's fair, it's not like a total war game where I generally know the form. Exactly, right? Um, Roma. You finish your aqueduct before that. Your stability is good. We've got a lot of we've got a fair bit of money coming in. Yeah, money money situation is good. We probably need some troops, don't we? I'm hoping that you upgrade pikes into halberdiers. So I'm thinking let's get some more pikes. Let's queue up a load of pikemen. You're actually low on food though. How long will it take me to get a food district? Farmer's quarter. Plus ten over here. Let's whack that in. Okay. Merge these guys together. Tell you all to regroup. Fortify up, basically. I think we had, thing is, we had in our previous war wiped out most of the Zulu's armies, so I'm pretty sure we've, we've probably dealt with all they had to throw at us right away, so they're having to rebuild as well. So this gives us a little bit of breathing space. We might have just lucked out here. Is a game with a lot of systems to take in, yeah, and some things that just don't make sense, like the diplomacy isn't quite all there right now. Mufasa's mount has lost a pop, but it will now gain a pop. But if I drop one of you over here, that holds food steady. There we go. We won't have that problem for a little while. Let's just do that. At least we've got a lot of gold. I don't really know what I should spend it on. Uh, we also can probably enact a civic. Uh, army wages. Stability on cities that you occupy. 
Does that mean occupying the ones that I just hold or ones that I actually have? The ones that I occupy during a war and stability on a garrison. So is that plus five to the fact that I've got a garrison building or when I actually put a unit in a city to garrison it as such? Combat bonus when ransacking. I feel like that one is the better one to go for. Paid wages, but are there any other ones that I would like to go for that I haven't yet got? Fundamental values. Garrison industry cost on commons quarter on stability. Garrison. Okay. Ones with troops in the city center. Okay. Is nation difficulty the top difficulty, Al? Last 100% delay between two crises. Independent people spawn on all cities. Stability. Minus 30% stability loss per turn on city or output. That's pretty good. And plus five per garrison building. Okay. I might go for that then. And that paid wages. Either that or I feel like punishment and go for forfeiture. Because minus 20% it just reduce the stability loss per turn on cities and outposts in general. Oh, no, it's only one higher than my current one. Okay. What do we reckon? Army wages and go for paid wages or punishment and go for forfeiture. They're both focusing on stability. But which one do you reckon? What's this one, actually? Conquered Empires. Plus 20 war support increased when winning a battle on Imperialist Empire. We don't know that yet, do we? Oh, that's if they are Imperialist. Anti-Imperialist. Oh, right. So it depends who we're coming up against. Ability decline is meh, you reckon? Hey, Mika. I'm good, thanks. So, army wages, then. Let's do it. Enact army wages. See the... Oh, sorry. Conquered Empires. Ah, they've taken... Ah! This empire made that choice. So, if I went for that, plus 20% when winning a battle on Imperialist Empire. So, actually, that would be useful, then. Because we'll be fighting up against the Zulu a lot more. And we would get plus 20 war support increased when winning... Every time we win a battle against them. Right? In which case, that is definitely the one to go for, considering they've chosen to be imperialist. That takes us... We're currently at that one. It'll... No, we're currently on plus two combat strength on unit. That'll take us to plus one combat strength on unit and plus five stability on cities, which actually isn't terrible. That could be worth it. Yeah, let's go for enact anti-imperialist then. So, curveball, we're not going to go for punishment or army wages. We're going to go for conquered empires. Seeing as the Zulu have gone for that imperialist choice, let's go enact anti-imperialist. And we'll get even more war sport when we win a battle against them. Uh, we lose a little bit of combat strength. We lose plus one combat strength, but instead we gain plus five stability on all cities. So, it yeah, may be do easier that. to make friends than to rule a larger empire. But do you seek moral or practical superiority? That's grand. Right, let's end the turn again. Pride Rocks pops fallen. Okay, they're just going to keep bouncing back and forth every time. Can I drop one over there? No, then we're losing food. But it'll take a while to lose some food, to be fair. We do that, though. We gain a pop every nine. Then we'll go over and we'll end up losing it and back and forth. Um... Let, okay, let's leave it at that, because, yeah, the gold the gold per turn's fine. Makini, you've just got that. So your stability is going to go through the roof. How many pops do you have? 14. Each, each of these, right, these ones, right, count as garrison buildings, correct? So that, does that also then give me, on the paid wages one, it would give me a plus five stability on each of these that I pop. Thank you, Scythe Masker. How are you? 
Interesting. Um, let's get some spears, though. Pop out some spears. Mansionist. Yeah, under one banner up there. We could we could rush and try and go for it, but it's not going to give me enough stars, though. We're going to get another Era Star in 12 turns. There's no way I can get a finish off the Expansionist one. We want to go Militaristic next as well, if we can. Oh, they've got an army down here. It is the Mongol Horde. Okay. That's Nossos. That's said uh, the Mongols, rather. Well, let's... Bring you guys together. Yeah, we've got all of them there. Take Fortify the them. We've got seven more turns till that tech's done. Um, I think we probably want to try and replace a few, but we don't want to go for more longbows, I guess. Well, maybe we do because we... Uh, depends who we come up against. What's the Hamlet? And that buffs things up in between, doesn't it? Wherever you put it. Whoa, look at all that food. It's because of it where it's all surrounded, right? It provides... An extra farmer's slot and everything else. And resource exploitation it works for yet. Yeah. That's actually really good for food and production. We just want to find the best place to pop it. Which is that one. Plus 10. Plus 19. That's bonkers. I mean either there or there would be good. a harbour. The best one for it, really. It's the only slot actually available for a harbour. I'm going I'm to whack that hamlet in there. That is just too good to pass up. Let's get that right in there. 30 farmers quarters. The only thing more impressive than that are the citizens' waistlines. Pride Rock. We're just doing our bounce back and forth. We've got another research quarter soon coming in. Help things out. How are we doing over here? We're getting another research quarter. Yeah, that one's going to give us like 10 or so. This army is now fully supplied. Uh, where was that army going? No idea. I guess let's get ready to go up there as a, that was our original plan. Keep an eye on what comes for us. Still five turns away from being able to... Actually, we're probably staying in our own territory, don't we? Let's station them there, actually, until we can upgrade them. We should have plenty of money to be able to do that. And let's just push through a bit. Turn pending. They've gained a pop. Nice. Gain some more pikes. Uh, we're just going to keep going for pikes here. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Um, stay in the city. Best Civic is the one that gives you double fame for era stars. Choose second is the one that allows you to use gold instead of influence. Can't, can't recall the name. you there. Four more turns. Uh, Pride Rock. Yeah, you can have more scientists in there. Work those fields a bit more. Take away some of the gold. Not as important right now. We're still earning a decent amount. All into science. Actually, that improved. Oh, no, it did, did improve the amount of science we're doing. Uh, okay, so we need more farming here. Let's do some more food. That gets a bonus from all that. How is our stability? It's still dropping, so this will drop us low. So we probably want to go for... Oh, there we go. There's a 15 buff there. Food, then the 15 buff. Uh, let's check another one of you. 
That makes no difference. Leave you in there then. Money, yep, swap over. More research, please. All that science. Got that one there producing us how much? Nine. Beautiful. So much science. Got another slot as well for another scientist. So close to being able to get that to finish in a single turn. Oh. Oh, God, who we being attacked by now? Oh, bloody wing to SARS. Shite, they've come up from here. Can we retreat? Who are they actually attacking? Are they actually attacking... No, they're not sieging us, are they? Why are they attacking these guys then? Oh, yes, derp. It says at the top, siege. Okay, fine. Oh, oh, it gave me my troops. Oh, perfectly to defend in because we were in the, the home tile. Amazing. Right, yeah, longbows we're going to want. Yeah, on that high ground there for sure. But who are we up against? We're up against... Oh, they've got a, a mortar. That's why they can attack straight away. Um, other longbows go up here. Unfortunately, these guys are going to have to get sacrificed sitting there. But yeah, that mortar's going to need to die. Oof. Oh, no, they've got... Of course, they've got these guys as infantry. They need to die first, then the rest of them can't get in and harass us. Ay, ay, ay. Woo, boy. Hide in the wall. <laughs> in the walls. Ay, 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 ay. Zulu is still taking their turn. Now it's my turn, I was going to say. Right. Shoot the crap out of these guys. Now they can't hurt my longbows any further. Take out their mortars the following turn. All they can do is fire that mortar, which is going for the, the peasants. That's fine. You, you fire on the peasants. Hey, Lars. How you doing, dude? Nope. Why won't my chair move forward? Because I'm ramming it into the side of the table that I'm on. Port. What's happening? My next priority: knock down walls and let horses in. Very scary. Ooh, yeah. How do I check my like wall strength? Get ready. Attack. Get ready. Attack. Right, that's the mortar gone, though. Two arms. Two arms. Now we just take out all their cavalry. Focus on them all at one at a time.
So that might be enough science to get us over the line this turn. Everything filled up in science. Does that still contribute when we're under siege? Has it increased it, so I'm assuming no. But we'll leave that all on that in the future. Um, actually, no, we won't. We'll leave it some on gold. Five there, they. Uh, we fast as mount. You yet finish that when you need some food, really. Gonna be there. Have we? Can we take the stability? It. We can. Got that in there. And Rome, 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 Rome. Uh, I just built. I'm building more food with you. Oh, did that pull in? I was say, did that pull in my pikemen? Must have done. I can't. Oh, we can't recruit anything because we're we're in the zone. Um, oh no, we were going. For, we went for that, didn't we? We went for the, getting that food sorted. Uh, that's fine. Um, you're on the front line. More production. Have we got any more of that? Oh, plus, plus 14 out there. Hello. Yeah, we can take that hit. I definitely feel like the adjacency bonuses in when I first started this game, they weren't working. Because it seems like we get way better adjacency. I know we've done some research and stuff since. But I feel like the adjacency bonuses either weren't being calculated or weren't being shown. It's going to wiggle their horses around a bit. Click on a tile. Oh, we can see the wall. There we go. Fortified city. What about? Oh, yeah, we can see. Oh, look, we can see this. The wall started crumbling down. That's really nice to see. Look at that. So you can see when that gets to zero, then, then they can just charge on through. That's what they're trying to do with the mortar. Yeah, you know, we're gonna but these are just home guard anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack with them to finish off the hussar. There we go. Guess we might as well. Right, let's go for this one next. I like you can queue up attacks just going around and clicking on all of them as well. Civilization makes you sort of sit and wait. Their turn, they're gonna do nothing, it'll be back to me. Oh no, they're gonna move. They're gonna wiggle forward a bit. That's nice. Just rotate round. Probably moving themselves actually out of range of my uh, Akabusiers. but these ones are now in range. So, no, that one is. That one is in range. Okay, three remain. That's that one down. Two remain. And we finish them off next turn, hopefully. Not what this game looks like, Civilization clone. Uh, not a, not a clone. Um, it's obviously in the same... Uh, genre as Civilization, and it does a lot of things similar to how Civilization does it, but also does a lot of things very differently to how Civilization does it. I mean, the battles for one are like just miles differently. We've got centralized power research. Huzzah! To better manage the evolution of complex empires, including wily lords and grand ambitions, a centralized system to collect and disperse taxes is necessary. We get taxation office. Most importantly, we get the halberdiers, which I'm hoping are going to be an upgrade for my pikes, and we then get an upgrade for my home guard, uh, drafters. Which are actually pretty solid. Yeah, these these battles are tactical. Like you've got to take into account terrain, uh, the positioning of your troops, things like that, um, facing and stuff like that. It, it's good. Um, like diplomacy is this. I would say is my biggest thing that I'm not a fan of in this game. Mainly because just a lot of it doesn't make sense, and it feels like they do need to do a good second or even third pass on a lot of the tooltips because they just don't read correctly or accurately reflect what they're doing. 
If they can do all that, then this will be a very, very solid strategy Civ management game. An era building game. But yeah, the cab can't do anything. They're, they're stuck. They can't get through the walls because they went in a breach before they took out their mortar. Start focusing on this one now because that's going to be taken out with this next volley. Nice. So we need probably two more rounds actually because we're going to need these guys to move. Oh no, unless these guys are stupid and move perfectly in range of my Caboosiers. Thanks guys. But still, we still might need one more turn. I don't know if we've got enough damage. Maybe if I send in my, my pikes, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to get close, but then who have I got to finish? I've got these other pikes, actually. Screw it, let's do it. As long as it's not wiping out my unit. Are we not gonna? Are we seriously not gonna finish it? No, we got him. Nice. Battle is over, and we get a big bump of war. We get 28 increase to our war score because we went with that uh, anti-imperialist. In freaking insane. So that is gonna do Hello. some pretty substantial damage uh, to them, but also massively pump up our war score. Oh yes, that's gonna be grand. This could actually then turn into be a quite a profitable one for us. We just got to keep on breaking them, which if, if they keep going for that one, that's good. Our war score gets topped up very nicely, so it's going to be pretty tough for them to break us right now. We said they've got the Mongol horde up here, so yeah, more art, well, more longbows, more pikes will be fine. Yes, my pikes can be upgraded. Hazar, They go up to being halberdiers, which are anti-cav. Uh, although these guys were anyway, but these guys, the halberdiers will be the right era to take on the winged Hazar! Huzzah! Yay, anti-imperialism! Woo! Right, yeah, uh, upgrade... Costs 400. But worth it. Camp upgrade. There's no upgrade available. Uh, I'm getting. Maybe they'll upgrade to Aquabusiers. Maybe. That's what we should check now. We need to go and do gunpowder warfare. We've still got such a huge focus on science, so that's going to get done really quick. Um, fortify you guys. They've got a turn to that Hamlet's done. Then we can start pumping out some more troops. Oh, that one can't do it yet. Hang on, right. Yeah, upgrade you. Upgrade you. Remember, I forgot to read the Ekabusia tooltip. I was thinking, why can't I? Yeah, you can, either, you can either attack or move. You can't do both in a turn. Right, they're coming in with these guys, so let's get this lot in the walls to fortify. You guys come up together. Got an idle city, Mykini. You've just had your hamlet built, which has massively improved your food, which is good. Um, we are going to go for, yep, more halberdiers. I think. Let's queue up a few of them. Take two turtle because you don't have quite enough production. Can we increase that at all? Throw everyone in. A bit of single work turn production because we're losing because we're losing pops. Um No, let's keep our science up. In fact, I'm gonna put a lot of our industry. We've got so much industry here, I'm gonna throw a fair bit into the sciences. Not worry about the gold right now. As long as it doesn't make it take more than two turns, then we're all good. No, we've got everything in science. It's now taking nine turns. Crossbows upgrade to Aquabus, yes, unfortunately. Uh, not, your, nor your, not your unique unit. It'll be hard to build Conquistors. So what? the longbows won't upgrade to Conquistors, so they're just their own separate thing. Okay, fair enough. Fair, fair, fair. Station there. I think you guys are going to station there as well. You're going for that one. You're going for that one as well. We're going to have some more stuff to do soon. How are we doing on this? They can see they've got what? How many? How many final era stars are there? Does anyone know? 
I'll get another one in two, and then I'll be able to advance into the next era. So I probably won't even get conquistadors at all. With Fifteen makers' quarters. Your biggest worry may be where all the workers will eat and sleep. Humankind Wiki says Longbowmen can upgrade attack boost. Yes. Okay. I guess we'll find out. So we'll, no, we will still be at conquistadors because we'll be just. Well, it depends what the next tech is. We won't have got it yet. So yeah, that's fine. Um, I really want to see about getting over to the new world, didn't I? And how that works. Let's try and do that with a longbow unit. Rome, you've got the yeah, extra infrastructure there. Let's continue four. Oh, well, because our industry... Oh, God, yeah, our industry is really bad, actually, for producing troops on the front. What the heck? Um, yeah, getting some of these stoneworks, the infrastructure stuff, I really should do. Structure on rivers. I don't think we have got any of that. Just queue up a load of those for the moment. There we go. So we can go up to the next tier. Oh, they upgrade into Akabusis. They don't upgrade it into Conquistors because they're the specialist ones. So they're always their own branch. Right. So we can have a cultural transcendence. We don't want that. We want to choose someone that is uh, ideally militaristic because we get then your affinity bonuses plus 30 war support equilibrium value on relations because we are constantly at war. Oh, we can go to be the British, which are also, funny enough, expansionist. Go back to being the British rather than the... Oh, we get red coats. Uh, I know I was like, oh, we need to be militarist, but red coats. Number of stars is the same for every year. 21. Okay, so they've got a while. What do we get with that? So we get colonial riches plus 10 money per number of attached territories on the capital. That's pretty good. Plus 10 science per number of attached territories on the capital. How many have we got attached to the capital? Too bad the game is unplayable on multiple. Is it? Is it really bad? It's got three territories attached. So that's an extra 30 of both of them. It should say... Plus 10 money per number of attached territories across all cities applied to your capital. Not saying on capital, applied to your capital. Like, make the text a little bit tinier and just add another line. Oh my god. Yeah, that is brutal. Ugh. Dr. Rhythm, thanks for subscribing to Tier 1 Sub for 10 months. <coughs> Draw off your face. Okay, so we've worked out the British. That is quite tasty, and that does yield some good science. We also get the Colonial Office, plus 10 money, plus 10 money for liege per adjacent district plus two money and plus two for the liege so with that what can i can i build that in ah oh, clearly well in vassal territories yeah yeah so would i be able to build that in vassal territories oh no it can only be built in other civilizations territories where you are their liege ah I haven't been vassalizing anyone, but that's that's pretty interesting. There. Anyway, Germans, we were looking at the Russians, weren't we? What the Russians get? You get Cossacks. Plus 10 war support. Increase when capturing city on relations. And then the Mexicans, they've been they've been picked by an unknown one. They got lots of food. What's their unit? Boladeras. The guerrilla fighters. And then the Zulu. There, they are on. Is this the next one up from me? I think it is, isn't it? Because we were on the Spanish. Oh no, because the Zulus. No, no, they've taken the Zulus. They haven't gone up. Have they gone up to the next one? I think they must have done then. Persians, mighty works, Austro-Hungarians, Emperor's hand, evidence bureau agents. Mm. I mean, no, we, we've got we've got to go British. We've got to go British. You gotta get them sexy, sexy red coats. So let's uh adopt the British. Oh my god, look at my uniform! Yes! Oh yes. Oh yes. I didn't check out the si uh Siam. Uh you guys want to see the Siamese. Uh Gilded uh, Orchids, Floating Market, and the Gatling Elephant. I mean that is bonkers. I almost want that. You get plus three industry per district on all cities and plus one money generated from ongoing trade. Noise. But yeah, no, it's it's gotta be the Brits. 
Here we go. Confirm. So let's just have a quick little look. Those are the yields from money and science at Pride Rock, which is our capital. Is 75 money, 95 science. Let's see what that is next turn when that new uh, modifier kicks in uh, from turning into the British. It's going to be spicy, I think. 75 money, 95 science. Got these guys up here. We'll bring them on to join them. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. Those are the ones I wanted to sail. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, can I... I can't... Uh, I can't have my units appear at my cap. Oh, no, I can. Here we go. Land spawn. There we go. We'll recruit another one here instead. I have to take two turns now. Unless... I do that. There we go. Right. We've got a longbowman now coming to the capital to, that's easier to walk away. Uh, walk away to travel across the land. Right. Let's see. Pride Rock. 69 money. 95 science because we just flipped that one lower. Actually, we could probably chuck a food one there. There we go. 75 money. 75 money. 95 science. Let's see what happens. The world gets larger. The cities expand. Buildings reach higher and roads stretch longer. And yet, the world gets smaller as bridges unite land. Towns congest, and railroads bring distant goods to the doorstep. Anything seems possible in this wondrous future. Though as humankind grows, the planet itself appears to shrink. All we hail the British see Empire! If the planet has now shrunk so much that the British Empire can reach its arms around it. I love that your buildings change to reflect the era as well. That's really nice. A new era. We've reached the industrial era. Expansionist star. So we're already 10 of 13. So that's fine. And I love the shift in music as well. This does so many things. Right. A new wonder can be claimed. Oh. I feel like we've got to claim Big Ben, haven't we? Plus 20 stability, plus 5% science per alliance on Empire, plus 10% science at the capital, uh, and plus 100 fame. What's the Eiffel Tower do? Yeah, we've, got, we've got to claim Big Ben, haven't we? Claim it. Yes. Claim that wonder. Gotta be done. Gotta be done. What's this? Military stars. Nice. So, for that, we've got to have a total, destroy a total of 208 military units. Nice, that'll be very achievable. Science stars, we're going to try and push through that as well. Merchant stars, probably not. Agrarian stars, maybe. Builder stars, districts, yeah, we'll probably get some of them. Uh, deeds, any deeds that we could do. Nothing at the moment. We can definitely do some expansion stars. Um, so where are we in the in the runnings? We are fourth, just behind third, though. We've got to get that gunpowder going. And then what we need, we need line... Oh, God. This is still all early modern stuff. Flintlock, that gets musketeers. Steam engine. Line formation is what we want to go for to get the red coats. Entrenching tool. Allows gunners and heavy weapons to gain dug in if they do not move during their battle round. Wow. We can get Dragoons with that. So the the Mexicans have got up to aerial warfare. And with that you can get airports, monoplane fighter, strategic bomber, aircraft carriers, battleships. So definitely we'll go past 300. Well, no, you can keep on playing past 300 turns and someone will have won by then. I'll definitely play it on the slower speed for the next game. And I said, I think I'm going to do it on the real Earth one as well. I think prioritizing science a bit more would be a very good idea. Yeah, I'm thinking um, I'll go for the Byzantines to start with because they get a... Is it Byzantine? No, Babylonians. They have a good um, science. I was To be fair, that's always been my like Achilles heel in Civ games as well. I've never prioritized enough... Uh, tech early on. Now I'm finally starting to get it going and it's working out really well. 
Must be placed on a river. Okay, so it can't be done here. But it doesn't need to be in the capital, though, does it? They could do it. It'd be 120 turns. Ooh, we don't have any alliances. Science of the capital plus 10%. It's probably not worth worrying about just this second. Um... And here we can see the British Empire em uh, Empire emerging. At long last, where will they go? Who will they conquer? And will they be home in time for tea? Find out next time. With me, Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> uh, right, they're pushing troops through here. Good thing we're building up some more VAR. Uh, we'll just keep on building them. What have we got? We've got three halberdiers. Let's get another halberdier here and then queue up a longbow after that, I think. You have to choose something college, but it definitely helps. There's religious beliefs that really help research courts and infrastructure. He really brings them up. Check out this capital yields. Oh, yeah, check capital yields. What are we at? <gasps> oh my god, look at our money. It went from 75 to 185, and science went from 95 to 205. That is bonkers. We went from a total of empire research of 306, I think it was, to 476. That's mental. Um, industry is important, food is important, but more science, please. Oh my days, that is crazy. <laughs> that's uh, that's wonderfully British. That. Mm, oh my. Yeah, we just. Yeah, went a little bit crazy on that. Uh, if we're going to have more troops, we want them spawning up there. Um, science research quarter per adjacent one. Yeah, whack that right in. That school is going to get us a crazy amount. That's pretty darn tasty. Buses mount. You're all good on food just about now. Um, your gold's all good. I'm going to throw you more into science because you're this one's only got as much science as the capital, but that's how much we've thrown into it. Uh, we haven't got the school here. Let's do that because we've got lots of adjacency bonuses. I haven't gone... People have been safe for a while. Lionheart, maybe build some infrastructure stuff because you'll find it'll help support your districts a bit more. And I haven't done these. Again, I need to do these faster in the, ne uh, in the next uh, playthrough that I do. Faith-wise, we're doing really well. We've got quite a few holy sites. So we're exerting a solid amount of pressure. Don't need to worry about any of that. That's all good. But the Zulus are attacking. They're charging my halberdiers. Oh, but my halberdiers! Yes! <laughs> we found out the anti-winged hussar unit. The halberdiers are so strong. My pikes were melting, but the halberdiers are standing tall. We've got this war. Yes. Have run out of worlds to conquer. Bezos reaches for gaming. <laughs> Boom. Oh, we've, we've got these guys spanked. We're going to start pushing out then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got these guys that could reinforce from behind as well. We'll come and smack them in the butt. But yeah, I don't even know what classes are involved in, in New World or anything like that. I know my, my brother's big on playing it. Keen to get into it. And I, I've been looking for a, a new MMO for quite like quite a few years, really, to get into. And I've, I found like joining existing MMOs, I just can't get my teeth sunk into them. I probably want to jump into one as it's building up. So I'll definitely give it a go. Oh my days. Yeah, we're going to absolutely annihilate these guys. The halberdiers are beautiful. God, just like that. Tables are turned. Okay, we've got to take out the impi again. Use my longbows to do that. Oh, they're out of line of sight. God dang it. I don't mind throwing my halberdiers out there. Oh no, they're going to be surrounded by all that cab that they're absolutely going to slaughter. So yeah, um, we'll try and do a new world stream next week. We'll probably bring that into Thursdays alongside Bannerlord. 
Oh, really? They, how would it take three pops to construct? I haven't even been paying attention to that. Really? <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, I've just realized my pops are just... Oh, we're down to six out of 41. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I totally didn't realize they took three. Arachnidor, thanks for pointing that out. Bloody heck. I was just spamming them out. Like, I could get one every single turn. Like, just keep getting all of them. Um, we'll do New World on Thursdays, but not this. Well, not this Thursday because I'm planning on doing Banlord, the old world, the Warhammer mod. Um, but next Thursday, we'll look to do Banlord and then some New World. This Friday, we might do some New World alongside some Dark Crusade. So my first potential chance to stream some New World to you guys or with you guys, if you want to join in and play as well, will be this Friday, probably from around about 4 p.m. So we'll do like aim to do two hours of Dark Crusade, followed by two hours of New World. Right, open this back up. Okay, no more halberdiers for a little while. Oh my days, I didn't even see they had a mortar. Crap, I should definitely have taken that out. Uh, can I rush it? I'm going to try it. With the halberd is. Oh, they're like, they tapped it. Go over here. Because I think from here I can reach that mortar. Yeah, I can. Beautiful. Bye-bye. And also, we can get reinforcements coming up here. Take these guys out from behind. Let's right, see what the Zulus do now. Whoa! Whoa, they nearly wrecked my halberdiers there. What? Did we just get lucky then with that first attack that slaughtered them? These guys seem a lot stronger now suddenly. <laughs> charge marks. They're just their charge. Oh, maybe the high ground. Yeah. Oh, it must have been up to the high ground. That's why we spanked. I mean, we're still, we're still pretty good at spanking them. But these guys have both struggled quite a lot now. I mean, we're going to lose them if we're not careful. Move up here. Try and take that one out. Warm up. Attack. that off so I can go in and attack this one here. Winter Stars are the strongest pre-gun cavalry. Yeah. So these these guys are well, they're the previous era, right? Early, early modern. Yeah, because my halberdiers are, are that as well, aren't they? Give us strength. Ready? Attack. Can wipe that one out. Then this one's going to get killed off, I would have thought. Uh, tell that one to defend. Tell that one to attack. I'm going to lose one of them, but I won't lose both. We should win this next turn, though. Oh, they've gone for that one. They haven't taken out a whole unit. That's good. Oh, no, they take out the one up there, perhaps. We're okay, though. We can finish that off. Nice. Got them all down. Form up. Finish them. Beautiful. 
We won! We lost three units. Three halberdiers, which is unfortunately that's nine pops we've just lost there. We need to increase how often we're getting some pops. <laughs> um Yeah, okay, fine. Um Fortify with you guys, fortify with you guys. Fortify with you guys. Now what do we got here? Separation of powers. Uh, religious community preparation, uh, participation, sorry, has been waning for years, so the empire's cultural strength grows. And now is the right time to remove religious authority from political power. Should religion solely be a matter of personal faith, or does it still have part, of, uh, still have a part of play in civic society? Show details. Irreligion. State atheism. Minus 75% foreign religious strength bonus, plus 25% faith on territories if territories follow state religion, replaces uh, the current state religion with atheism, lose the ability to build holy sites or pick tenants, all religious civics are locked and some invested influence is reimbursed, or lose the ability to secularism, lose the ability to enforce a state religion, build new holy sites or pick tenants, become immune to religious grievances. I kind of feel like with the bonus we get from religion, we don't want to pick either of those. Now that we're not forced. That's quite useful. That pollution. We're going to have to annex that. Grab Nossos. And we'll take Northern Rock as well. And the Scythian Nepolis. Nepolis. That'd be good. Sending you over there. It's a do it. Alright, so they turn into. Little sailing boat, that's not a transport galley. Right, so that's how that works. So they can embark. I just don't know which tech it was that allowed them to embark. It's fine. Yeah, you're still doing your punishment. We need you to gain some pops pretty quickly. Um, so I can recruit some more halberdiers to replace the ones I've just lost because they are three pops. Oopsie. Um, we should probably go for some uh, yeah. Infrastructure. Also, I've just realized this game capture has been capturing the Steam overlay for ages, which shows the FPS, which I'm sure you guys don't mind seeing the FPS, but you don't need to see that. That's fine. Let's turn that off. <laughs> um, oh, that's one thing I still need to do. I still need to do a test, see what performance is like between this, piece, this new PC and my old one in terms of like Warhammer 2. Right. Uh, what, what are we missing? We've got. Th we probably want uh, another halberdier in there, don't we? That's all repair, repairing, replenishing. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I kind of want to go up there. I also want to go spank these guys. I want to probably grab Nossos. You have my greetings. Their war support That's keeps on dropping as well. We need theirs to reach zero, though, don't we? Um, we'll. By attacking the Mongols, the vassal of the Zulus, will that still drop the Zulus' war support? Or not really? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go up here see if we can grab that. Sailing across the sea. We're going to start taking attrition though. Postal ship destroyed by spending more than one in turn in deep water, which is what we're in right now, right? Oh, so does that mean I can't actually make it across here? Ah, so that's what you guys were saying with the technology. I need something like... Or an outpost, because... 
damaged by consecutive turns in deep water but not destroyed, the quad dream. It's probably those seafaring mastery. Receives less damage from consecutive turns spent in deep water. No. Remastered ship. I see. Ignores any penalties from deep water. Yes, that's the one to go up to. Right. So I don't want to be in here, otherwise I'm gonna just—it's gonna be just destroyed, isn't it? But I can't actually get across with these guys just yet, so we have to turn back. Rats! I want to claim a new outpost over here. Another oh, gum. Um, production crew, production crew, Q. Yeah, you don't get easy ocean crossing exploring until early modern, unless you're the Norse and you get it a full era earlier for Vinland. Noise. Um, that's a lot of food. So we're getting popped very quickly now. Plus two food on river. Um, industry's really high here, which is good because we're using this as a production hub. Tawny fields. Do we not have a? Oh, we don't have a garrison building. Let's do a garrison building. Uh, they've got walls over at Northern Rock. Let's do one. If we're going to be going after, looking to go after Northern Rock, let's build one out here. Well, there's quite a few resources up here. Also gives me a good chance to go from there. Um, I'm going to lose some production, whatever I do, really. Uh, how much pot we got? 7 out of 10. Maybe we should just do more growth stuff. Um, let's chuck in that one as well while we've got it. And Rome, you've just finished going for all the industry buffs and bonuses. Um, water bill plus two production on a river. I wish it would tell you, like, give you a rough estimation of what that will do to your production and stuff. Give you a preview. Minus ten percent on industry costs. I'm recruiting units here. Which wouldn't be terrible. Let's do that. Uh, that, we've definitely got food to go on the river, for sure. And we've got another dilemma. Another event. Uh, Night Stalker. The heaving metropolis of Pride Rock sprawls across the landscape. Its vast working population wedged into the, every pocket of space from industrialized shanties to market side slums. Every day, many of its citizens travel far and wide and sometimes find themselves lost in the wrong part of town. Perfect hunting grounds for a murderer. And now one stalks the night. Thirteen victims struck down over the last three months. The citizens are terrified. What will you do? Is this our own uh, Jack the Ripper, I think? Occurring here. So we've got Illuminate. Installing street lamps across the city will help put the citizens' minds at ease. Or ignore... What are 13 small lives among hundreds of thousands? No, let's illuminate. You're at the end of an ideology axis? Well, there's something to be said for unswerving dedication to a cause. Oh, yeah, we're at the end of one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice, but yeah, we don't need to talk about that so much. At the catch. Then, yeah, because that stays there, we lose it. Uh, we can now upgrade you. Uh, we just need the street. Yeah, so they can be upgraded too. Akabusiers. But, oh God, was that 970 it's going to cost? What the heck? But we need to exploit some gunpowder. Um, We can now exploit it though. Siege cannons. That's pretty good. Seeing as I want to get over to the other place though, I feel like I need to go through... Foreign outposts, seafaring mastery, and three mastered ship. It's not going to take long because we've got our, we finally got our research prioritized, so it's going really quick. Upgrades get expensive really quickly, like 2,000 gold expensive. Well, I'm glad we're keeping all this gold just sitting here now. I was wondering what to do with it. Well, we could we could leave the ship here, but I'll just I assume it upgrades automatically. Don't know actually. Anyone know if they automatically if I stay in the sea if it'll automatically upgrade when I get the tech that does it? 
If so, we could leave it, in fact, like down over here, ready to then press across. That seems to say that's the fastest one, but probably from down there, that's not too bad. 7,700 to upgrade Moogle elephants to Siamese Ellies. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Come on, go grab that. Oh, we found some more territory to the north. Nice. We're going to start grabbing that one. Again, we could upgrade that, but we need to be in our own territory. Uh, or allied, and yeah, we need the saltpeter. So that is within this one. There we go, saltpeter mine. Funny enough, that can only go there. That's fine. Um, yeah, leave that as is. Two cities have done. You finished the school. That's going to help our science even more. Is there any more we can do for that infrastructure stuff? Not particularly. Um, so we can now get conquistadors. Uh, and then they've got move or attack. Conquistadors can. They're gunners, though. Um, fight scene at full, which is amazing. El Dorado generates additional money from winning battles and ransacking. Nice. Um, it costs two. They cost two pop as well. Um, yeah, we just got to have the saltpeter in there. And I think they've got, they don't have move or attack. They can move and attack, which is pretty good. Reasonably sure it's automatic. Let's, let's experiment then. Let's send this ship down there then, over to that spot. Um, or more science. Get a plus 13 bonus over here. Oh, what is that? Coal. How is our stability here? Hmm. Okay, so that goes in. I was going to build that, wasn't I? We can afford to do both. Look at the difference in fashion between the equity. <laughs> Look at them. Fancy fashion. Oh, yeah. I mean, these guys are like, yeah, you know, we're, we're here for military stuff. And these guys are like, we are here to kill. Fancy. <laughs> I like it. That was my terrible Spanish. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Um, Fuster's Mount. We've got more science to do here, possibly. Hopefully. How's our stability? Stability is good. Plus nine there, plus nine there. There is a spot there for plus 13. And because we're next to... What is that? Because we're next to a commons quarter, it's actually... Uh, yeah, it has a, a synergy bonus, doesn't it? The more... It gains more stability the more districts got around it. So that's only costing us five stability. Yeah, pop that right in there, lad. That in there. And the turn. How are we doing here as well? Uh, not too bad. They've got two of their final era stars. Okay, go. All right, so we're working on getting that strategic resource built now. Good, good, good. I mean, I could just pay the gold and have it popped up now, but I, that'd be a waste of money, really. Um, and then you guys can get upgraded as well. Use the coal. Oh, right, build on the coal. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't think I've got the tech, though, to actually allow me to build on the coal. To exploit coal. No, I don't. Don't have that yet. But exploiting coal that is very much in, in character for the British, indeed. Unless you're Margaret Thatcher, in which case you want to ruin coal miners' lives. What a bitch. Um, let's bring these guys down here. I'll link one up with these guys. He needs gained a population, yes. Army will be lost at sea. Really? Oh, that's deep water. Oh, cock. I thought, nah. No, so I quite literally have to stay here. 
Right. That's not fair. It's not like she only wanted to ruin. I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so she didn't only want to ruin the country. She wanted to ruin most people's lives. Yeah. Uh. As you can tell, we're not quite a fan of the old Thatcherism here. Right, got that army all together. Two more to go there. Two more turns up there. Polar mining times. I wouldn't mind mining some coal. Actually, I we have a... Um, oh, we got foreign outposts research. Noise. Let's see if it's upgraded to that now. No, we're still on transport galley. Uh-oh. So do we have to go off and then back? Or was it was that because that wasn't an actual transport unit? Rust in peace for her. Yeah, indeed. Uh, uh, negotiate. No, that isn't a transport one. That's why. That's a transport one. Naval transport. So you have to get all the way up to the Caravel before you've got an upgraded transport. Bloody heck. Wow, okay. Damn. Okay, no, so that can stay there. Yeah, that can stay there. Need Carax, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, but uh, we were in, we've were we got a, a soda stream which allows you to make your own um, sodas, basically. It carbonates the water and then you pour in uh, different flavoured kind of syrups. Uh, I didn't realise they've clearly made a, an official deal partnership with Pepsi. Because we found uh, a Pepsi Max soda stream syrup bottle the other day, and I've been making some of that as well as Seven uh, Up, and it tastes just like it. It is great. Four pound, four pounds for a bottle of syrup that makes a round about nine slash ten liters. Bargain. Um, you guys could go attack there, but I don't know what they've got in reserve, and I'd rather wait until these guys are all Akbusiers, and potentially until I've built up another army, maybe. I'm pushing it a bit, aren't I? I don't have got this. Oh, I don't have. Oh no, my, my infantry can get over the walls. I can always retreat. Actually, let's let's go take a looky. If I remember correctly, so does a stupidly profitable restaurants when you take them into account. Something like a thousand percent markup on material. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, especially because again, they do it the smart way in that they get they get the syrups from the um from you know Pepsi or Coke or whatever, and then they have it plugged into a, a water carbonator system that it just mixes with when they press the selected nozzle. So the syrup costs them nothing. The thing that's the thing is why like sodas in general, like in a bottle or cans, are expensive is because obviously they're already like pre-mixed the syrup and the carbonated water to make the final product. So that's more expensive to transport, ship, package, and everything else, rather than if you just ship syrup, um, you know, in a tub or pot or whatever. Way much, way more cheaper. Way cheaper. Uh, so yeah, Alan Mobile, thanks for tuning in. Um, grievance is available. Ask for reparations. Yeah, open this. We can we can have this. I don't think they've got any proper support. They've got some horsemen coming in. Let's fight this. Let's just siege them and take Nosos. We want to do this for a while. Um, what do we want to do? Swap them with them. Is there any other higher ground we want to go to? No, it looks good. Yeah, you always know if you have a bad soda at like a pub or a restaurant when the um, 
the syrup's running low, and you just mainly get lightly flavoured carbonated water. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't realise SodaStream had made a uh, official partnership with Pepsi to distribute some of their products. Because yeah, they had Pepsi. They actually had officially licensed Pepsi Max available as a SodaStream syrup. So I'm like all over that, like a rash. Right, it's my turn. They've gone hard on hitting my longbows here, which I'm quite pissed off about. Annihilate that one. Move these guys down. Counter the attack there. Take them out from behind. Oh, I've missed slaughtering cavalry. And this time intentionally as well. Mongols turn. That's actually their hostile flag as well. Oh, no, that's my flag. Oh, whoops. I've got to reclaim it. That's fine. We've got turn. We've got time. They did that years ago. Really? I could have sworn I've looked recently. Like, well, I say recently. I looked within the last, like, year or two. And they didn't have any officially licensed, like, um, like, colas. They just had their own generic cola, which was like, eh, it's okay. There's not, like, a Pepsi or anything. I thought it was a fairly new thing, because I'd not seen that. Wipe them out. That's it. We've won. Noise. That probably gives me... No, does it not count with that? Does it count with my war against these guys? Why do you come here yes. Loss in battle because of, their, because of their vassal. Really? Huh. Remember seeing 7-Up and Sprite. Oh, okay. Don't lie, Lionheart. The cavalry always dies intentionally. I mean... It's never fully intentional, I swear. Uh, I probably should fortify up before I go in for the kill, but do they actually have anything to stop me? Fight. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's just punch a hole and go straight for the cap. I do love me some 7-Up. Not gonna lie. I loves a bit of 7-Up, I does. Yeah, I, I, I really cannot get over how much I enjoy the battle system in this game. Compared to other hex-based Civ era builders, it's, it's so good. It just works really well. They've only just made an effort to push the Pepsi Cola brands in supermarkets before they were only available in select stores. Uh, that's probably why they probably. So it's probably the fact that they've actually recently upped their partnership with supermarkets to to push their products rather than the partnership being fairly new with Pepsi and stuff. I'll definitely be ordering some more though because I normally buy like big old crates of cans and I'll just do it with the soda stream. It's way cheaper doing it that way. How many do they have remaining? Just the one. They just kill this one and we've won. Kill the peasants. Nosos is mine. Here are unlocked. Nice. Nosos will now be really pissed and low stability. He'll be dropping. But if we garrison... Oh, we didn't get that tech which increases improves our garrison. But we'll get them in there next turn. That's fine. Uh, so that's really got to have hurt the, the Zulu. Yeah, they're going down hard. We're going to win this war. So from the start of this stream today, to for me going, Oh, good God, it's all going horribly wrong. To me going, it's all going wonderfully right.